aqua male. So this little fellow did uh, really well on the release aspect of the test. Uh, he was very quick to come out. He has a nice body uh, language going on. His tail is up. Hi. Tail is up above his back. Yeah. So he, he stopped and you know sniffed the balls, but he pretty well came right right to me. Hi. Aren't you the sweetest? Hey. Aren't you cute? So I'm going to give him some affection and let him know that I'm a good thing in the room. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to be overly uh, attentive. I would like him to let us know if he is more social or more environmentally focused. So he just, uh, this is the first time he's been taken away from his litter mates and across a parking lot and he's never been in, never been in this room or met me before. So this is very good. Yes? Good boy. So he has a lovely level of confidence. You can see him stretching a little bit. That's just him being careful because he's not sure. But he's, he's certainly uh, interested in what's uh, around the room. Uh, the heater unit just came on, so it's making a lot of noise. So he just stopped and looked and then went on. So there was absolutely no use of his teeth there. He was licking me to death. Definitely interested in what's in the room, but he, he's a, a, quite a, a lovely mix. So at this point in the test, I would say that he's a 50-50. <laughs> Again, licking, yeah. So it might change as we go along in, in orientation, but he's quite uh, a lovely mix. He's He's bold enough and uh, curious enough to leave me, but uh, always comes back, so that's wonderful. Okay. So we're going to get up and walk around and just see how he fares. If he follows me, very good. So you want him? Very good. Here we go. So you, this could be the very start of your come exercise. So praise, praise a lot when he comes. Very good. And then uh, we'll see what he does. So this little fellow would really like to... Yes. Yes. Good. Good fellow. <laughs> good fellow. So you can see that he's quite good at uh, following with me. He's getting a little more excited and a little more comfortable. Puppy come. Yes. Yes. 
Yes, what a good man. Good. So if he was to not look at anything, super job. You can see that he's doing really, really well. He's almost starting to get a little demanding of where I am. <laughs> Very good. So he's doing amazing. He wants to be with me. He's checking things out. Very responsive if I call him. If he was going to be stuck to me like glue, I would encourage him to play with things like this. Yeah, so he's done, he's done really, really well. He would rather uh, really play with me, stay with me. <laughs> he's getting excited. Oh, really excited. What are you doing there? Is it on your feet? Hey. Let me get another one. Let me get another one. That was a big one. Hey? <laughs> so he's liking this. He's very excited. He wants to do stuff. So we're going to... So he's, al he's almost a little bit demanding of me. Uh, so I would uh, remind you to create, train him and have him understand that he can't be with you 24-7. As much as you want him to be with you. He has to have patience which is this test. So we're going to lift him up, and he's been pretty excited and running around. So we want to see his level of patience, and which is absolutely beautiful. He's so soft. I've held him for quite a long time. Very, very good. So he could not have done any better. He, he's not mad at me. He's just the same. Very good. Mm -hmm. Very good. Let's see. What you do with this? Hmm? What's this? What's this? Oh, very curious. Sure, yes. yeah. What's this? Can you bring it, puppy? Puppy, bring. Very good. <laughs> Let's try it again. Ready? Ready? Let's go. Yes. So very, very interactive. He would like to take it away. So rather than drop, uh, pull it out of his mouth, I'm going to teach him to drop it. Because you don't want him to get to the point where he will grab things, run them away, and then gobble them down and get in trouble. So we're going to try that again. You want this? Super job. No, oh, he's going to leave it this time. I'm going to give him... So we're going to give you a little treat for doing that. So what you would do is tell him to drop it and then treat him for doing it. Never pull it out of his mouth. That will only encourage him to chew it up really quick. So the next test is a treat test, which is why I didn't... <laughs> really mind giving him the treat right away. So he's not had anything other than his puppy food. So the reason we do this is uh, to see how excited he gets over a high quality uh, treat because uh, to, if he got too excited, he um, it would be counterproductive. You can't possibly ask the dog to sit still when all they really want is the treat. So we're going to put it under a cup. Wait. <laughs> Look, what's that there? So as you can see, he got a little distracted. He can smell the treat, but he did not figure out that it was under the cup. So he's often playing with the cup. Let's try it again. So I might suggest that you keep with kibble. 
So that time he did much better. And he's laying down and relaxed with the treat. So uh, you could try treats with him. If he gets overstimulated, just go back to using your kibble for a little bit. Good job, little man. Hmm? You can see him sniffing around. He quite liked those treats. <laughs> yeah? Let's take this. Yes. So oh, this guy's uh, quite playful. He's got a nice energy level. He's uh, quite brave. Aren't you? What's this? Did not see it. What's this? So very big noise. Not sure where it came. From. He's looking. So he's a little upset. He's not sure where that came from. We're going to give him a minute to see if he can come out of that by himself. So we're just going to walk around and go, puppy, come. And just get him forward, get him moving, get his mind off that noise. Uh, don't coddle him. Yes, because he's never going to figure out how to handle stress by himself if you do that. Super. Let's see, was that loud? So we're just going to go look. Yay. Yes. So not quite that. Yeah, there he goes. Yay. So he's not quite back to where he was before. So you could uh, you could in, uh, it, introduce noises to him on a lower level and then just build on that. Because he is a little bit upset. He's not upset to the point where he's running and cowering. But he is uh, still looking for the, what happened. You want to try this? What is this? Very good. So I'm not. <laughs> I'll just take a bite of that. What is this? What is this? Very good. So he's still looking, he's playing with me, he's happy, but every now and then he still looks over there where the noise was. <laughs> Very good. So he's quite curious and he's, he really is a brave little fellow. So just keep introducing new things to him and build that confidence level. You have a pretty good confidence level. So the last thing we try him is a prey drive just to see what his natural prey drive is. So as you can see, he's connected fast. Oh, he's leaving it. So he was fair, he's, uh, out of camera range, but he is just sniffing around the room. So he's, he, he is quite interested at the back, there he goes. So he does have a medium to high prey drive, just that he connected so quick. Um, at the back of his mind, I believe that he was still interested in that noise. But you can see he's got the pretty good uh, kill shake going on. So you can use your exercises in your happy puppy training kit, like watch me and leave it and drop it. Anything, any exercise that will get his attention back on you. Um, when you take him outside, there's kids and bikes and rabbits. and So we need to uh, establish that connection. <laughs> so absolutely beautiful. He did lovely on the test.
I hope you enjoy. Good boy. He did well. Yeah.